Thank you for staying with us. In West Africa, the Nigerian government has rejected a news agency report published last week about a secret program of forced abortions run by the military in the country's northeast. The investigation reported that since 2013, a secret military program has involved terminating at least 10,000 pregnancies among women and girls, many of whom had been kidnapped and raped by members of the Boko Haram group. The country's information minister, Lai Mohammed, speaking at a public event, said there is no secret system, systematic and illegal abortion program being run by the country's military in the northeast or anywhere across the country. He adds that the government also rejected the accusation of running an abortion program leveled at the military. Mohammed's comments were the first by Nigerian government officials since the report was published last week. Commodore Abimbola Ayuba retired joins me now in the studio to discuss this further. Thank you very much um, for joining us. Thank you, Felicity. Any kind of conversation like this about secret abortion has strong implication. What are the, the far richer implication of such a report if it is confirmed at least true? I, first of all, I thank you. I, I am of uh, the opinion that uh, the impact of this will really be negative on uh, the image of Nigeria's armed forces that have uh, continually sacrificed uh, itself uh, towards a uh, supporting peace efforts in Nigeria. So I think the impact is uh, going to be that of a, an effort to demarket or affect the image of the Nigerian government's effort on the aggregate. And it's in the domain of disinformation, which itself is, uh, can be seen as an aspect of warfare in today's uh, modern warfare. So wherever that report emanated for, uh, I believe should have actually done better empirically than just giving uh, uh, results from a sampling of the population, 33 uh, women and girls, as reported in the report, Mm. And of course, uh, claim, there were claims that 40 soldiers were interviewed. And uh, I'm wondering why, since 2013, the writers have been uh, into uh, the media uh, activities of Russia. Why it's now that. Well, could it be that they were taking their time to do a thorough investigation? What should be the appropriate response from the government to such a report? Should it be outright rejection, or should there be some sort of call for an investigation at least to you know, give some credence to the fact that these people say they have in, they, they've done their background? There is people who are willing to speak. Well, I think uh, sometimes when you, when you read some reports, I mean, the rule of the thumb will tell you there's something awfully wrong with the outcome of that report. We all operate in these spaces. Uh, even this, the, the so-called conflict space that uh, Bono or my uh, have been the epicenter of it. We, it's not a hidden place, an open land. You, you, by the vegetation and everything, you can hardly conceal anything. And uh, of course, I have uh, worked in that space. I I know, understand most of the dynamics. I've also uh, done a lot of uh, consultancy works in my retirement in uh, Borno State and the general area of the Northeast. People, that place is saturated with interest groups, NGOs, local, international, that have virtually 
police the entire space. So, so are you saying that they should they they, they shouldn't the government? Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but are you saying that there should be um, an outright rejection? No investigation should be further carried out um, because the terrain does not allow for such a secrecy to thrive yes. without somebody knowing about it. Firstly, it's not doctrinal and it's never known in the history of Nigeria's armed forces. I've spent that five years in the armed forces of Nigeria. Now, of course, I've spent a good time in tri service. We, the, the information that has been brought, honestly, can, can really be very annoying. So sometimes you reject it. If you know this information to be false, why glorify uh, that particular uh, institution? From other readings I have heard on this particular story, even the UN is very uh, cautious to make comments on it because it's quite sensitive. And we also know that some of these agencies... But they have work. asked that the government investigate, though. Oh, well, if the government uh, will investigate it, uh, the people who are actually the main actors who are in charge of the space have come out to say, no, we are human beings. Soldiers are not... Uh, they are not even robots these days have uh, some humanity in them. Uh, you just got 10,000 women and girls. If you line them up, oh my God, everybody will know what's going on here. Everybody will know it. And this age of uh, camera phones and all that, somebody will have caught the image. I'm so sad that they could not even pinpoint the exact locations, only to go on uh, satellites, uh, uh, Google map, and then uh, pointed some hospitals to military in that So your submission report. is that this report should be discarded in its entirety? It should be trashed, because that's my personal opinion about it. Thank um, you very much, Kamadu Ayuba, for speaking with us on the news. Thanks, Felicity, for having me.